Okay guys, so I'm starting my Keys trip off with a nice boat ride through Isla Morada. Here we are going to launch our boat and we are going to go take it out into the mangroves and the beautiful salt water and check out all the cool wildlife. The mangrove forests of Florida are very mesmerizing. They're so beautiful to drive through on the boat. After the boat ride, we got a bite to eat before heading to Key West. One of the great things you will notice about the Keys is that there are wild chickens roaming around everywhere. I mean everywhere. And it doesn't even seem like anyone tries to eat them or anything. They're just everyone's pet. Now I'm heading over to the East Martello Museum. This museum used to be a fort back during the Civil War, but now it is a great museum home to all kinds of cool artifacts like this canoe here. And they have all kinds of other things like turtle shells. You can't collect turtle shells anymore, but back in the day you could. And they have a piece dedicated to all the Cuban refugees that came over here. They have a dollhouse too, which leads into the most famous thing at this museum, which is Robert the doll, the haunted doll. Legend has it that Robert the doll is haunted. It also has other really cool things like this shark cannon. Yeah, I bet you didn't even think there was such thing as a shark cannon. Look at that. It's got a moray eel inside the cannon. Super cool. Once inside the center of the East Martello Museum, you could definitely tell it was a fort back in the day. They have a tower in the middle of the fort that leads to the top where they have some really interesting art. Look at these guys. They look kind of creepy. And then at the top, they have the gun emplacements where they used to have the cannons. Now it's time to head downtown. My first stop was the Ernest Hemingway House. This is where the author got the inspiration to write many great novels like The Old Man in the Sea and Farewell to Arms. The Ernest Hemingway House is full of cats. They have at least 20 cats on the property. Apparently he loved cats back in the day. And he had a study up top where he would do most of his writing and it had lots of animals that he had hunted from back in the day. And it was very beautiful to overlook the whole property from up there. He also had an incredibly large pool and a basement. Next up was the Key West Lighthouse right across the street from the Ernest Hemingway House. From up here, you can see the entirety of Key West. It is a great place to go before you head out to your other destinations you want to see in Key West. Outside of the lighthouse, they had some very interesting sculptures of people. From a distance, they really do look like people as well as a couple different lights that the lighthouse used to have back in the day. Next, I went to the southernmost point buoy, which is only 90 miles from Cuba. And the next place I went to was Fort Zachary Taylor, which is a fort and a park rolled into one. So Fort Zachary Taylor has beautiful wildlife, like the sea grapes here, big cannons, and a lot of cool buildings, some old and some new. They have a lot of different cannon shot, they have some cannons. Some of them are very well maintained. Some of them are a little bit older with a lot of rust, but they have a lot of variety of different sizes, like this massive one here. Look at this massive cannon meant to shoot at ships. Fort Zachary Taylor from above is very beautiful to see. You can see the beach right from up top. There's a lot of places where cannons used to be, but they patched it up and now they just have it flat. While visiting the park, don't forget to go into the water. It has some of the best sandy beaches in all of Key West. And that's saying something, because Key West is very beautiful. The last thing I have to do is go down Duval and do the Duval crawl and get some food. Of course, when you're going down Duval, you see chickens, more chickens. There are chickens everywhere down here. There's a lot of gay bars down in Key West. If you didn't know, there's a large gay scene down here and there's bars covered in cash, completely. Now it's time for me to eat my food, conch fritters. I hope you all liked this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and as always, have a great day.